the facts are clear. People are getting fatter and sicker. They're taking more drugs. They're getting more surgeries. It's not working. And the reason is, is that you cannot treat chronic disease with drugs and pills. You've got to deal with the cause. The cause is the food, primarily. <laughs>
In other words, if you come in with a problem, type 2 diabetes, type 1 diabetes, you know, heart disease, obesity, any kind of problem, the first reaction to the doctor should be, well, let's fix the problem. You know, let's send you some cooking classes. Let's send you to a 10-day live-in program. So it's a reallocation, refocusing of the system to get it to work. And uh, I know it can be done. Dr. McDougall has previously partnered with a health insurance company in Minnesota, USA for a project seeking to improve the health of company employees and lessen the company's health care expenses. Through the initiative, he demonstrated that what people eat determines overall health care expenditures. I've done it with a couple of companies. Probably the most notable is Blue Cross Blue Shield of uh, Minnesota. Uh, in uh, the year 2000, right around those years, I ran uh, three programs for them and showed that by changing the people's diets, that we could get a 44% reduction in health care costs based on their claims data. When we return, Dr. McDougall will share more of his successes in changing patients' lives simply by changing their diet. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Healthy Living here on Supreme Master Television, where we are talking with Dr. John McDougall, a respected physician and nutrition expert in California, USA. One of the doctor's endeavors is running a special program in California to help those with severe illnesses get better quickly, with the cure being a starch-based diet free of animal products. I run a 10-day live-in program at this luxury resort. And here people come and stay with me for 10 days, and I feed them exactly what I think they should eat. And they love the food, by the way. My wife is a genius in the kitchen. She's a very, very modest uh, person. What she has created is something that is uh, really unprecedented as far as the enjoyment of simple starch-based meal plans. We've eaten this way ourselves for over 30 years. And um, so we, we put them in this luxury setting, and we feed them this great food. And generally, the first day, I take them off most of the medications. I take them off uh, essentially all their high blood pressure pills, except that they're on beta blockers, and I do that slowly. I take them off all their diabetic pills. I take them off most of their insulin if they're type 2 diabetics. I take them off their antacids and their laxatives. They come in with bags full of pills. Right? I can think of a fellow who came in uh, on 30 different kinds of medications a couple of programs ago. He left on four medications in tremendous shape. Uh, this is typical. Uh, you see these infomercials that say this is the best case scenario, you shouldn't expect this. I'm here to tell you, you should expect this. You should expect, if you make this kind of profound change, you change from grease and meat to a starch-based meal plan, you should expect profound changes in your physical appearance, your activity levels, the way you appear as far as age is concerned. Tobacco and alcohol are universally recognized as harmful substances that are extremely detrimental to health, with the cure for users being quitting the substances altogether. The solution to ending the damage caused to the human body by animal products consumption is no different. This is kind of an interesting thing that I get into with some of my colleagues. They'll say, uh, you know, McDougall, you're not really saying that uh, every patient should be on the same kind of diet, and this will help everybody. And I, I say to him, how many patients uh, do you have who were cigarette smokers who quit smoking who didn't get well? I mean, there was one behavior you asked them to do for every one of them. How many of them didn't get better? Of course, the answer is all of them got better. Okay, how many hardcore alcoholics have you taken care of in your professional career who have stopped drinking, who have not gotten better? One single act you asked them to do, how many didn't get better? So what I'm asking you to do is to take people who are being raised on the wrong fuel, a fuel that has traditionally made people fat and sick, a la kings and queens, Burger King, Dairy Queen, 
you know, those <laughs> kinds of foods. I'm asking you to take those people on the wrong diet and put them on the right diet. How many do you think aren't going to get better? And they get better. We have people with horrible rheumatoid arthritis who their uh, pain and swelling stop within a matter of a few days to a couple of weeks. Uh, blood pressures almost always drop in 48 hours. So we get average drops in cholesterol of, uh, in the American system, milligrams per deciliter, about 20 to 35 points. And cholesterol drops uh, in seven days. People lose on average about four pounds in seven days. And that's from eating as much as they want. This is an unlimited buffet style feeding that we give them. And they get off most of their drugs in that shorter period of time. A starch-based diet free of animal products is inexpensive as well. I can cut your food bill. It costs $14 a day to get um, enough calories at a fast food restaurant to survive. If you're real conservative on the American diet and you cook at home, you can do it for $10 a day. If you eat a starch-based meal plan, you can eat for $3 a day. Save $11 a day. Just go from fast food to a starch-based diet. So it's a cheap way to eat. It's kind to animals. It's kind of planet, supported by all religious teachings, and it has to be the tastiest way there is to eat. Everything is right. We'd like to thank Dr. John McDougall for his inspiring message that we can achieve optimal health through wise food choices. We wish him much future success in his many projects to improve public health. Let a diet free of animal products soon become the way of eating for all people on our planet. For more information about Dr. John McDougall, please visit www.drmcdougall.com. Books and DVDs by Dr. McDougall are also available at the same website. Intelligent viewers, thank you for your company on today's episode of Healthy Living. Up next is Science and Spirituality after Noteworthy News. May heaven's grace always be with us. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.